The search is on for a killer as Jacksonville police look for answers in the shooting of a man at this West Side apartment complex. Right now, information is still coming into our newsroom, but we first brought you the breaking details of the shooting during the news at 630. Officers are searching for a truck possibly connected to this shooting. It all happened at the Heritage on the River Apartments off Confederate Point Road. That's where a man was found with a gunshot wound. He later died at the hospital. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel joining us outside Jacksonville Police Headquarters downtown. Corley, what do police know about the shooter? They don't know much. They haven't named any suspects at this time, but they do have a specific SUV they're working to track down. A shooter is on the run after police say a man was shot and killed at the Heritage on the River Apartments Friday afternoon. Gregory Henry saw the crime scene during his daily walk through the neighborhood. I'm really sorry what happened. Uh, I don't even know who it was, but uh, I mean, yeah, things like that happen too much. Investigators say the shooting happened around 3 p.m. When officers arrived, they found a man with a gunshot wound outside the apartments on Confederate Road. He later died at the hospital, according to police. Uh, it's dangerous. I mean, it shouldn't be this dangerous, but it is. Investigators are now searching for a newer model Red Ford Explorer in connection to the shooting. They believe the car has chrome trim, chrome door handles, and a luggage rack. Henry says crime isn't uncommon in the neighborhood. I see it. You know, it's there every day, morning, night, doesn't matter what time of day. According to JSO's crime map, in the past three months, there have been 18 assaults, 12 thefts, and nine car break-ins within a mile of the apartment complex. Police have not released a name of the man who was shot this afternoon. They're working to notify his family first. Those with any information about this deadly shooting are urged to call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live from downtown, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station.